We are working for you with team coverage. 27 News sports reporter Landon Reinhardt is in studio and 27 News reporter Caroline Soro is live in Lawrence. So Landon, we'll start with you first. What do these downgraded penalties now mean for the team? Yeah, Mackenzie, we broke down at 430 that Bill Self and assistant coach Curtis Townsend's individual penalties were reduced so they don't have to testify in court. The team is on probation, but there's no postseason ban, which is big. No effects going forward. That said, some past wins are being vacated. Former Jayhawk center Silvio De Sosa is the focal point of this case, playing in 20 games in the 2017-18 season. De Sosa is retroactively being named an ineligible player. And Kansas is forced to give up games where he played in. This means KU basketball is losing 15 wins from its all-time record. Doing that math, this now makes Kentucky the all-time winningest program in the country with seven more wins to the Jayhawks. This also strips the Jayhawks of their 2018 Final Four run. The team must lose any banners or signifiers of that postseason run. This also includes the team's 2018 conference tournament win. Considering the alternative of a postseason ban, the university's lawyers call today a significant victory. Now, 27 News reporter Caroline Soro spoke with head coach Bill Self and AD Travis Goff just a bit ago. Caroline, what was the reaction from the Jayhawks? Well, Bill Self's exact words were, I'm glad this is over. He said these infractions have felt like one big cloud that have been following KU's program around for the past six years. When Self and KU Athletic Director Travis Goff addressed the media earlier today, they said the rulings were what they expected and that they confirmed KU's claims of not knowing any student athletes were being paid. These rulings have been a long time coming, and both Self and Goff agreed this process has felt long for everyone involved. It sucked, but over a course of 35 years, don't you expect to have some periods of time that aren't that great? And so uh, uh, I think that myself and my staff have handled it very maturely, to be honest with you. And we've dealt with this in a way that we're going to go through this. This is how it is in the short term. It won't last forever, but it's not an excuse to impact how we do our job. Self said the self-imposed sanctions from last fall and accepting the rulings weren't necessarily an admission of guilt. Those actions were taken solely in effort to move this case forward toward a conclusion. However, Self did say those years of uncertainty were as much of a punishment as anything else. And right now, the program is just looking to move forward and focus on the upcoming season. Working for you live in Lawrence, I'm Caroline Soro, 27 News. All right, thanks, Caroline. 27 News was the first to break this news over at KSNT.com.